Deanna Mathers knew something was wrong when she looked in her rearview mirror. 27 year old Jesse Astoria, the man who almost ran her off the road. Erratic. Erratic. I mean, he was speeding. He ran the light on, on Merrill and Cactus. Suddenly, the sight Mathers will never forget a sidewalk cluttered with pieces, remnants of a young couple and two children. The baby was laying there on the ground and kicking his feet. And the other one was unresponsive. It was just after noon. 28 year old William Denoso and 26 year old Glenda Brooks were on a bike ride with their children a two year old girl, a one year old boy. They were on a nice little bike ride on a Sunday. The family was headed southbound on Willow Avenue, Astoria, in the opposite direction. Jumped the curb on the east side of the street and collided head on with a family of four. The family was taken to two separate hospitals. The two year old girl pronounced dead. Mom, dad, and the uh, one year old child are still. Uh, at the hospital in their very serious condition. Astoria tried to get away, but his car stalled. As investigators piece together clues, a family's life is broken. Not fair. They don't deserve this. Nobody deserves this. And again, all three family members in serious condition. Astoria will face charges of felony DUI and vehicular manslaughter while intoxicated. In Rialto, Susie Song, KCAL 9 News.